Hi, this is Matt with CoolMarketingSoftware.com. I've got some good news. We have a new version of OSClass Submitter. It's OSClass Submitter 4.0. It's written in Python. And this software will submit your ad to 19 different high traffic sites. On autopilot, uh, you can submit up to a thousand ads in a run. And so this is how it works. It works very similar in a similar manner to the other software we had, almost exactly the same. And you know, there are three steps to using the software. First, there's account registration. You have to register your account on all the sites. Then you confirm your accounts by clicking the link to confirm your accounts, and then you submit your ads. So this software uses Chrome, so it's going to use your Chrome browser. So you need to have Chrome installed on your computer. So once you have, most people do already, but if you haven't, you can just go Google download Chrome and install Chrome on your computer. It's probably, uh, you know, one of, if not the most popular browser. Now, the first step is account registration. It's really simple. All you do is you put your name or the name of your business or what you want to show in your profile on all these classified ad sites. You put that here. You put your email address here that you want to use on all the sites. And I suggest having a separate email account uh, other than your main account for posting ads. That's usually a good idea. You don't have to, but it's a good idea. Then you put your password. It has to be the same password for all the accounts. So once you have this information, you just click register and you can see this little black screen. Don't worry about that black screen. It's just normal. It's how it works. And it's going to go in and fill out all your information on all the sites and, uh, register you at all the sites. Now I'm just using a, a fake email address here, but this gives you an idea. So it's going to keep going from site to site and it's going to register your accounts automatically on all these sites. Now I just stopped it from registering uh, for demonstration purposes, but once you see that it's registered on all the sites, the next thing you need to do is go and confirm your accounts. You come here. All right, before I go on to a part two, where we're going to confirm the accounts, I want to mention that you have to have a windows machine to operate this uh, software, you know, windows 10, actually anything windows seven or later. And, uh, what I do suggest is a remote windows VPS, uh, like I have it set up here and click here. Now I'm on a remote computer. I can just click submit and it's going to submit ads. And then I can click off this and go back to using my regular computer. It doesn't take my computer resources. And if you do have a Mac, then you could uh, use a remote Windows VPS and still use this software. But in any case, we are going to come out with a version uh, that runs on a Mac uh, soon. Uh, it's written in Python and Python can run on a Mac too. We just have to compile that up. So we should have that as well soon. So you have both those options. In any case, I still recommend a Windows VPS because you can run the software 24 seven. You don't have to worry about it popping up uh, Chrome and messing up what you're doing on your regular work on your regular computer. So, okay, we're going to come to step two, which is confirming the accounts. Now to do this, I registered a bunch of accounts. So, uh, so I can show this to you. Um, you fill in your email, the password for your email, Incoming mail server for Gmail. This is pop.gmail.com. Uh, I used my own email server. I'm going to put that in, but to show you for Gmail, this is 995. And then you put your email and your password and you click confirm and it's going to open up Chrome ag again and click the confirmation links with you. Now on Gmail, there's one more thing that you have to do. You have to uh, allow less secure apps. So what you want to do with Gmail is you got to go to this URL, myaccount.google.com slash less secure apps. You have to be logged into your Gmail account. Then you click here and you're good to go theoretically <laughs> um, to be able to you know, log into your Gmail account and confirm your ads. So theoretically you would just click start confirm and it's going to log into your Gmail account, download all the emails, the confirmation emails you got and start clicking the links. And it does work. 
The only problem is that sometimes Gmail is a little finicky with allowing you to use less secure apps and it turns it off automatically and you got to play around with it. Eventually it, it does work and they do allow you to allow less secure apps. Um, but there is actually a, a simpler way. What I suggest doing is just do it, doing it manually because um, by the time you get Gmail to work and they accept your less secure apps, you could have clicked all the links uh, and validated them. I'm going to show you how that works in a second because it's much easier to do it with my own server. I don't have to worry about Gmail blocking me. But in any case, the simplest way, I would just not even worry about that step two other than going, logging into your email account, whatever email account uh, you use. Uh, and actually, you do have to use a major uh, email account like, G, uh, like Gmail or Yahoo to register on the site. So you do have to use that. You can't use at your own domain.com to register on these sites. So you should know that. Um, so I would just suggest logging into your Gmail account and clicking the links. It just takes a few seconds. See, your account has been confirmed. And you can just go click away and it just takes a few seconds and you're done. Okay. Really is the simplest way. So I wouldn't even worry about all that less secure apps and stuff. You do have to use a Gmail or a Yahoo account. More specifically, these are the uh, email providers that you can use to register accounts on these sites. Uh, Gmail, Yahoo, Mail.com, Outlook.com, MSN.com, ProtonMail.com, ZohoMail.com, AOL.com, GMX.com. You can see them right here. Uh, you know, the simplest thing to do is just use a Gmail account, most likely, uh, to register all your accounts on the sites. But it will not work with at yourdomain.com if you have your own domain. You have to use one of these major email account providers to register accounts. So, like I said, what I suggest is logging into your email account and just clicking on the links that say please validate. And with an Less than a minute, you can confirm all your accounts and you're good to go. Now, there's one thing you might have to do. Sometimes some of these emails come to the junk or trash folder. Come there, find, look for the um, emails that say, please validate. You just find them in the trash folder and click on them and you are good to go. But just to show you how the automatic registration works, I've got... Uh, an email on my own server which i've whitelisted so i'm going to click confirm and it will go and download the emails and start confirming you see now it's just visiting the sites and it's going and confirming it it, it went and got all the links the confirmation links downloaded them and now it's going to visit all those confirmation links and validate it so if you want to fool around with that feature you can do so um might take a little time for Gmail to allow you to access your uh, your your email account remotely with an outside app, but it it does work. I have done it with Gmail. Sometimes I just find they're finicky, and it's easier just to go in and take a minute and confirm them yourself. But there is that feature there, as you can see. It even gives you a little guide here. It says it says confirming, and then when it actually okay there, it said error because I'd already confirmed that site. Um, but it'll eventually give you a success message here and you'll see success when it does actually confirm. There you go. You got a success message. So now we're at the fun part, submitting ads. So what you have to do is come to the third tab, automatic ad submissions, and you fill out your project name. Okay. You put the number of ads you want to submit. You can submit a maximum of a thousand at one time. I suggest starting small and building up. You put your, the name of the email, like the email account that you use to register on all the sites and the password that you used to register on all the sites. That has to be the same. Check your, check your category from the drop down menu. You put your title here. You, put, you can put your description. You can use HTML. Um, you can use, also use spin tax if you'd like. I have another video on spin tax um, and I'll put the link in below so you can look at study that if you want but you can do html you can do text you can do you put your title here you put your keywords here separated by commas address optional phone optional city optional where you're located 
put your website here, put your full website. It'll make a clickable link on all the sites. You can put a YouTube video. You put the share URL of your YouTube video. You come here to YouTube, share, copy, come to the link and put it here. Facebook page if you want. If you want to put your affiliate link for classifiedsubmissions.com, great idea. People posting ads on classified ad sites might be interested in an automated classified ad submission service. So if you want to earn some extra money with the classifiedsubmissions.com affiliate program, pays 50% recurring commission commissions. We pay thousands out every single month. Now with the pictures, what you, what I suggest doing is, um, putting your pictures on your C drive. Once you install OSClass Submitter, it'll be located in your C drive here, C OSClass Submitter. And what you can do, you can create a folder for it, or just, you want to make it simple. You could just put your pictures here, right in the same folder. And you might want to rename them to something simple, but that should work. Okay. And I'll take another one just here. And I'm going to put a picture. You could put up to three pictures doing this. So here I'll find another picture, just random picture here and go look for the OS class submitter. There it is. There we go. I got three pictures. If you have any issues, you might want to rename them to something very simple. You could even put it in the folder images here if you want, but there you go. You got it in the same folder as OS class submitter. And then what you want to do is you want to find these. So you go to C OS class submitter right here. And you want to upload, open a picture, open, open. There you go. And very important. Now you want to save the project. Okay. And you have to keep these pictures in the same location if you want it to work. Now that created uh, a file, a .ini file called test project. Okay. So there is test project loaded up. This you can pretty much ignore this test.txt. Matter of fact, what I would do is I would delete this. Okay. And now we just have that will avoid confusion but they had to be in there as a placeholder. So here we go, testproject.ini. And now all you have to do is click and start posting. So now it's gonna go log in. It's gonna use Chrome on your computer. It's gonna log in and it is going to post ads for you. So this is using your browser. See, now it's logged in and it's going to go through the whole process of posting your ad on each site and you can just go do something else. All right. Uh, you might want to follow it along just to make sure it's going good at first. See, it's chosen the category. It's going to keep coming down. It's going to open up the HTML editor for you. And this is all on your computer. Now, this is one reason I suggest the windows VPS because you can just put this on a windows VPS like I have here. All right. I can just start posting. See, I posted 433 ads yesterday, uh, successful submissions. Oh, and by the way, you're going to get this count. It's always going to be less than how many ads you submit. So I tried to submit 500 and I got 433. That's normal. You're interacting with a browser. It's not going to be perfect every time. Uh, and things can happen to interrupt the browser. That's just normal. All right. So you can do 1000 attempts at a time. And you know, if you get 800, that's, that's pretty good. All right. So like here on my windows CPS, I can just, you know, click and start posting and it's going to open up this little black window and start posting. And then I can click off. I don't have to deal with it anymore. I'm back on my regular computer now. See, I'm posting on two at the same time. I'm back on my regular computer, which is using my browser. So, which is fine. It works. As you can see, it's working right before you uploading the pictures and everything and successfully submitting. But with the windows VPS, you know, I don't have this popping up on my home computer. If I'm doing other work, it doesn't interfere with my work. So that's just what that's about. But as you can see, it's submitting the ads. Everything is going fine. 
Now you can do as many projects as you want. And then each time you can save them and it'll save the projects here. So you could have a hundred different programs that you're working on and it will save the projects. Um, then you can click this button and what it'll do is it'll alternate projects. Every time it submits, say you have a thousand submissions, every time it submits, it'll choose a different project from the drop down menu. So you could, you could promote a hundred different projects at once. You know, it would take you a little while to input them all and save them all. And I don't suggest doing that at once. I suggest starting simple, get one going, get the hang of the program first. Don't sit there all day, you know, getting hundreds of projects and then trying to figure it out. No, do one simple ad at first and then build from there and get the hang of the program. So really that, that, that is a, a for using all this software. That's the way to do it. Don't come up with some grand strategy and, you know, spend hours on it. No simple project. First, get one simple ad going do three successful submissions and then build up from there. Now you can see here, it's counting the successful submissions. So we have one successful, successful submission. You can see the status here as well. So it'll let you know if it's successful or not. Not every single one will be successful uh, because they're interacting with a browser and things can happen to your browser. You can click your browser off, anything can happen. But it's, you know, the vast majority will be successful. So here's one of the ads that posted. It, it posted the video. Notice how it embedded the video. That's really nice. Embedded, and I just did a really quick ad. You could put a whole HTML ad here. Um, much more, uh, much more elaborate than what I did. It was very quick. You got images here. This is a gallery. It'll go through the images. You got your video. Now, even if you don't have an HTML ad, it'll create a clickable link. I can click on this and it's going to go to the site. Okay. There we go. It goes directly to the site. So that is how the software works. Uh, you can have as many projects as you want. Uh, you can submit up to 1000 ads, uh, at a time, you know, you're not going to get 1000 ad submissions. Uh, you'll, you know, if you get 80%, you're doing great. Uh, you can embed your YouTube videos. Uh, you could up upload up to three pictures, you know, on the confirming accounts, just confirm it manually. And then you only have to do the account registration once. Um, and you're good to go. And you can, you can submit tons of ads to like very high traffic sites. We're p posting on these sites all the time ourselves and they're getting a lot of traffic. So this is OS class submitter. 4.0. Uh, you can uh, click the link below if you want to get this software. And uh, if you get a Windows VPS, just let us know. Send us the link. I'll send you a link where you can sign up for Windows VPS. Send us your login with IP, username, and password. You usually have to wait a day from uh, IO Zoom to get that. Uh, that's who I recommend because it's just the best deal I've found for an entry level. Uh, you send that to me, we'll set up the software on the VPS for you. So it just takes a couple seconds and usually you get this software within less than 12 hours. All right. So this is Matt with coolmarketingsoftware.com with our new version of OS class submitter 4.0 Python, which submits to 19 different high traffic classified ads. I also like to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to our newsletter. Thank you so much. This is Matt with coolmarketingsoftware.com.